This is the definition of measure of central tendency. But what is the formula? In statistics, we are interested in calculating the numbers. To find the mean of the data, you basically take the summation of all data entries and divide it by the number of entries. If you're dealing with a population, the population mean is denoted by mu. You take all data, add them together, divide by the number of data in your collection. If you're using a sample, however, it's, it has a different representation, x bar. So again, remember that to find the measure of center tendency, you're looking for this number on the horizontal line. This represents the mean, mode, or the median. If you're using a population, you're going to use Greek letter mu. If it's a sample, you're going to use x bar. Sigma shows the summation of the values. Sometimes you're dealing with data that are normal or skewed to the left or skewed to the right. But again, our goal is to find the measure of center. In this example, the prices in dollars for a sample of products before the launch of a pricing strategy study are listed below. What is the mean of the data? 274, 235, 223, 268, and so on. Remember the formula. The sum is equal to sigma x. What are we going to do? We're going to take each number, 274, add it to the next number, 235, then 223, 268, 290, add it to 285, add it to 235, which is equal to 1,810. In the next stop, since you are dealing with a sample, take a look at the question. Question says, hey, I am working with a sample. So that's why you use X bar. The mean is equal to the summation of X values, which is 1,810. Divided by n, how many do I, data do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So when you do the division, it is 258.6. Remember that we we'll round the last calculation to one more decimal place than the original data. So basically, you calculated the mean price of the sample, which is about 258.6 dollars.